bitches. So, it's your girl Jimmy Fly. And of course, you know, by reading the title for this video, it's a pregnancy update. <laughs> so, yesterday, I turned 28 weeks, which is seven months, which is the first week of my third trimester. <laughs> It seems like this pregnancy has been going by so fast. Like, I can't even explain how excited I am to see my daughter for the first time face to face and hold her and kiss her and just play with her. But, yeah, um, I know I haven't been doing pregnancy updates often. It's really because nothing has really changed. But now that I'm in my third trimester, I felt that it was only right to update you guys on what's going on just with um, my thought process and my body and my baby, of course. <laughs> so, let's get started. My belly has popped. My navel hasn't poked out yet, which I think might happen within the next month or so. Um, but it's bigger. <laughs> I have developed the dreaded dark mark on my belly the line that comes on the majority of pregnant girl stomachs. Um, it didn't come for so long, so I thought I was gonna be one of the lucky ones who didn't get it, but it didn't skip me. So I have that black mark on my stomach, which isn't really bad because I don't have any stretch marks yet. I stay oiled up, like I stay getting greasy. <laughs> So I don't know if that's why I don't have any stretch marks. I'm not going to say that if you oil your stomach all the time while you're pregnant that you won't get stretch marks because I see a lot of girls with them. I think it just depends on how big your body gets and what your skin's elasticity can handle. So yeah, I don't have that. What I do have though is my butt turned black. <laughs> and I'm not going to show you guys so... Don't worry, but I'm just telling y'all, like, some girls, their whole stomach turns black, or, like, I heard some girls, their faces turn really, 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 really dark from the pregnancy mask, but for me, it's my butt cheeks, and I don't know why, maybe because my butt is spreading and growing, or I don't know why the baby chose that part of my body, but it's really dark. <laughs> Other than that, with my skin, my acne has kind of dumbed me down a little bit, um, but the dark marks are still there. I've been on my black soap and cortisone 10 face care routine, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, or maybe my hormones have just balanced out a little bit, so that's why the acne isn't popping as strong as it was, but it's still there. It's still coming and going. Hopefully after I deliver my baby, it'll be totally gone. Because I'm really not used to having acne. I'm really not used to having spots in my face. But anything for my baby. Because she's a blessing. So I can't really complain. As far as like symptoms that I've been having, I haven't really been having any symptoms except like the usual gas i've been having a lot of gas <laughs> and i know that's like nasty to hear but i have been pooting and tooting a lot um inside my belly makes some weird noises i don't know if that's my daughter moving around or if that's just the gas in there making noises but it's weird and baby daddy is always like what is some noises coming from you <laughs> And it's kind of embarrassing, but hey, that's life. My cravings have changed since the last pregnancy vlog I did from chicken nuggets to, <sighs> I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I sit down and I will eat two or three fish fillet sandwiches back to back, like back to back. <laughs> Really though, I eat everything. Anything that you put down in front of me, I will demolish. When I go out to eat, I eat like two or three entrees. When baby daddy cooks, I need two or three servings. Like, I just be really hungry. <laughs> so I don't know if that's the dreaded eating for two syndrome or if I'm just getting greedy as hell because I don't have 
weed to smoke or I don't drink liquor anymore and food has became my best friend. I'm not really sure, but yes, I eat a lot. As far as my weight goes, I have put on 34 pounds so far throughout this pregnancy and a lot of people are always like oh my god you're so tiny like when I'm out women always ask me like how how far along are you four months or are you five months and I just bust out laughing because I'm like no <laughs> I'm seven months but I know compared to a lot of pregnant women that I see and come across like on Instagram and stuff I'm fairly small but for me it's a lot it's like lugging around a bowling ball because I'm used to being so tiny but I like it I think the weight looks good on me my face is kind of like but it's not bad my arms are like but I'm loving it um, I'm really enjoying this pregnancy and this process of bringing another human being into this world it's like beautiful like I never knew that I could love somebody so much, especially somebody that I haven't even like met yet. It's so crazy. I have seen my baby in 3D. I do not post her ultrasound pictures online. That's just something that me and baby daddy have made an agreement on that we would keep sacred for us. But I have seen her. According to everybody, She's my twin. Even baby daddy's like, oh my gosh, she look just like you. Like the structure, her face, everything. It's crazy. She already has hair. It's so crazy to see. Like I'm constantly looking at her 3D ultrasound pictures. They're the screensaver and the lock screen on my phone. Like I'm just obsessed with baby fly. She does have a name and I'm still not sharing her name <laughs> yet. But I will do a vlog probably when I'm eight months to let you guys know what her name is going to be. Her first name was already chosen, but we battled a little bit about her middle name and we finally like boiled down to a middle name. And of course she's going to have his last name. So I'll be sharing her name next month. As far as, um, like lactating my breasts haven't started to leak any milk yet i'm hoping that they do start so that i can know that i'll be able to breastfeed because i really want to be able to breastfeed my daughter i want to have that connection with her and at least like if i can't breastfeed her i want to be able to give her breast milk like pump it and feed her breast milk instead of formula but if i can't then that'll just be something that i have to deal with um, I still have skin to skin to bond with her. My nails. I cut my nails down. Well, I let my nail tech, Miss Diane, cut my nails down. Remember, they were super uber long. I grew them out so long, I kind of started feeling like they were a part of me. But when I had to think about... Do I want really long super nails or do I want to not have to claw my daughter up when I'm doing diaper changes and trying to rub on her face? I decided to cut them down. It was a hard decision, but when I finally broke two nails, I was like, that's God telling me they got to go. So I got rid of them and it's getting some used to having short nails, but... I kind of like like it because I can ball up my fist now and kind of box baby daddy when he say something crazy or make me upset or don't bring me juice. <laughs> I've been drinking lots and lots of water now. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Water was so disgusting to me before. And I had tried, like, putting lemon in my water. And then that started giving me acid reflux really bad so I stopped doing that and now I'm just like obsessed with water whether it's cold or room temperature it doesn't even matter like I just love it now I'm so proud of myself because I'm supposed to be drinking lots of water but it's pregnancy and at first I wasn't doing so good with that I was drinking lots of soda and juice and sugary shit as far as baby fly goes she's uber active like she moves a lot and sometimes I'll be wondering what the hell is she in there doing but it makes me feel good to feel her move because I don't have to use my fetal Doppler as much as much because I get really paranoid. Like if she gets still for a couple hours, I pull out the fetal Doppler and be checking heartbeats and shit. But because she moves so much, I hardly ever have to use it. So I love that. And it seems like she recognizes her daddy 
Like, if she is still for, like, 20 or 30 minutes and then he comes in bed and puts his hand on my stomach or rub my stomach, it's like she gets really, really active. So, I don't know if she knows the difference between my hand on my stomach or his hand on my stomach, but she already seems like she's going to be a daddy's girl, which I really, 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 really love so much. I just really want them to have, like, the best kind of bond. I'm to the point now where... I don't even care if me and him are together forever as long as him and her have forever. Don't get that twisted. Me and baby daddy ain't got no problems though. No problems, bro. <laughs> My mind is still focused on doing a natural vaginal birth delivery. Delivery, birth, birth, delivery, whatever you call it, with no epidural. And then I heard it's other like drugs that they could put in your IV to help you calm down. So... I even seen a girl get a Xanax from her doctor right before she went into delivery. So I'm hoping that I could do anything I can and my doctor will help me do anything I can to skip the, the dreaded epidural. Because I really don't want to do that. I really want to have a somewhat natural birth. And I really don't want to have a C-section because I've been watching blogs on that too. And after you get the C-section and they deliver your baby, you can't hold her and... All kind of crazy ass shit. And I don't really want to go through that. I want as soon as my baby comes out and they wipe her down, I want to be able to hold her and kiss her and cuddle her and try to breastfeed her. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what we're rooting for right now. So pray your hands up, bitches. Yeah, so that's about it. I know you guys haven't seen me on my YouTube a lot. And it's not because I lay down. It's because I'm just trying to enjoy this pregnancy and I have been doing a lot of stuff um just trying to get ready for baby fly's arrival at this point in the game she pretty much has everything that she needs to come I just have to get her crib and her bedroom set so that's about it I love you guys and I appreciate you being on this pregnancy journey with me it means so much to me because of just everything, my previous miscarriages and just the love and support I get from you guys, the messages that you send me, always telling me that you're praying for me and baby daddy and baby fly. It's just like a blessing to know that there are so many people out there that I have never actually met face to face that are rooting for me and my little family. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm so blessed to have supporters like you. I love you, bitches. Dose. <laughs>